This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Mill drive home, driving home from the den where it finished. Millwall one, Norwich City nil. Norwich City plus Dean Whitestone, um, who showed his true colours today. Dean Whitestone was the ref. Um, I say ref. He actually, I think he was. He was mo most definitely the twelfth man for Norwich City. An unbelievably disgraceful performance from the referee. We had to beat not just Norwich City. But him and his linesmen, this, um, and we did, and we fully deserved all three points today. It was, um, it felt like we got our Millwall back. It felt like the stadium was, the you stadium know, was bouncing. It was, it was a good atmosphere today, and I, I love to be back in that. It was, it was just a, an all-round fantastic performance. Every single Millwall player put their, body you know, on the line. yeah, put their body on the line. Just, just blocks and tackles and. Tr tr tracking runners and it was just fan it was just a fantastic game to watch from 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 Mill and um, yeah oh, right let's get to the what's it called so um, if you uh, don't mind stick a like on the video let's see if we can get up to two hundred likes it'd be really appreciated obviously um, if you're not subscribed to the Mill Drive phone get yourself subscribed and put your comments in below because I do read them uh, and, and we do really appreciate uh, some of the yeah. nice things that are said about us so yeah thank you very much for that three changes for from the game that the home game at QPR you know three clean sheets on the bounce but three changes Wes Harding had picked up a slight muscle strain so uh, Sean Hutchinson came in for him uh, what more looked knackered to be fair at the, the end of the, the last game he he was on the bench and Zian Fleming started for him and the last one was Murray Wallace coming in for uh, Joe, Joe Bryan. Bryan so we had I think it was a good change of I thought change Wally, of Wallace players a, today yeah, Wallace had a fantastic yeah. game so to be fair like I said he all the filled in players, for Joe Bryan uh, very well brilliantly brilliantly you know um, the pace of Norwich the way they can pass it around uh, and some of the players that they've got they just they couldn't they couldn't deal they couldn't deal with the you know attacking intent with the defensive side of the game that we had today but we had Sarkic in goal the, the back three of Ryan Leonard uh, Sean Hutchinson and Jake Cooper it's never bad when Cooper and Hutchinson are uh, back together left wing back was uh, the aforementioned Murray Wallace right wing back was uh, Brooke Norton Cuffey who had an absolutely fantastic game again the two central midfielders of George Honeyman and George Savile right midfield was Imaku yes Idamo Imaku oh, or was he left no no he was right He because he was linking up with uh, Norton Cuffey yeah. uh, left was Zian Fleming and um, the striker was Tom Bradshaw. Like, Again, like, Tom, I thought Tom Bradshaw put in a... I think he did definitely have an injury before, or Gary Owl was teaching him something stupid, because since Joe Edwards has taken over, Bradshaw looks like a new man. It, well, he's got himself on, on the score sheet today, and it was a really, really well-worked goal. Um, Zian Fleming picks up the ball in, you know, in our own half, he plays it out to Adamo Maku, who's his pace just causes so much problems and he's, he's direct. Yes, his end product is not there yet, but um, it was brilliant on this occasion. He just slides in Brook Norton Cuffey on the right, who, who crosses it deep to Tom Bradshaw to a, a very similar goal to what he scored against QPR, sliding in at the far post to put us 1-0 up. And like I said, I felt I felt like we deserved it. It was We were the only team really... Um, to attack with with intent, Norwich had a lot of possession today, but Sarkic very rarely touched the ball. It was all everything was in front of us. The the tracking, like I said, the tracking of runners today was absolutely superb because they've got so, uh, so much pace in that Norwich side trying to get in behind that you've got to go with your runners. You've got to hold the line. The line was 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 kept the, both the, the midfield line and the defensive line was so solid today that um, it, it it made it virtually impenetrable. The, uh, I think the only Norwich chance I can remember was a, was a chipped um, ball over the top, and I, I think it was uh, the Korean lad that's that's nodded it onto um, to Sarkic. It was. Yeah, I think you know, it was Barnes. <clears throat> it might have been Barnes yeah. actually, but it was a. a, a um, also, Barnes did have a chance where they um, they played quite well out wide. They played it into him, and he had a basically a free shot. On goal in the box and just p rolled it right to Sarkic. Yeah, it was a, yeah, oh yeah, that was a, a really a weak chance. Um, second half, you know, like I said, we get it up half time. I, I didn't feel like we were under that much pressure, which was was good. And like I said, every time we were going on the break, we looked dangerous. We looked like we could cause them problems with the pace of Idamo and um, and the strength of Zian Fleming. Uh, Fleming did have a chance in the first half, didn't he? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the, the really good save. save. Yeah, there was a, a ball chipped up to him. <laughs> 
Fleming's brought it down and he's, he's connected quite well with it. I uh, thought it was a really and, nice and, strike. And Angus Gunn, obviously, would, would have hoped George Long would have been in goal, but yeah. uh, Gunn, was in, Gunn was in goal and he's made a really good save to, to keep it 1-0 at half-time. We then, um, like I said, we go... We come out in the second half and the good thing is we didn't really sit deep. We sat deeper than we did in the first half, um, which is to be expected as the game goes on. But we didn't sit as deep as, uh, you know, as we used to, which which gives you gives you so much more chance to um, so much more chance to get up the pitch when you when you when you turn the ball over. And like I said, that transition period we we, we done really well. And we sh- we should probably well I think we definitely should have scored a second goal. Um, there was one fantastic ball from uh, George Savile. I think it, yeah, it was Savile that curled it over to Brook Norton Cuffey who was coming in at the back oh, post. No. And he's got a free header. Probably the only bad thing Norton Cuffey done in the game. And he's, he's, he's not connected with it very well. And it's kind of dribbled through to, to Gunn. Uh, if that Mo- was on his foot at the back post, I yeah. think he would have scored because he has, he's yeah, got he's a better, thunderstruck. Yeah, he's, yeah, obviously not heading was his, he's not his strong point. But then um, Idamo had a really good bit of play down the right. He's cut in and smashed it towards goal. Uh, it should have been, you know, his, his guns made a really good save again. And then the ref, the refs come into the game. Uh, you know, Ashley Barnes has absolutely lost his head. You know, he's, he saw red. He he, he saw red, but he sh- he didn't see red. So, yeah. uh, he, you know, he's he's wrestling with um, Leonard on the floor. He throws an elbow towards Cooper. Cooper. Oh, yeah. So no, he was wrestling with Cooper on the floor. Was it Cooper yeah. on the floor? Um, yeah. So Cooper on the floor. Yeah, he, I think he rugby tackled down Cooper, and um, and just starts trying trying to knock him out. Really, yeah, he was punch, trying to punch him on the pun- floor. He was punching down on Cooper, throwing elbows, grabbing down, and the ref and many Mill players were trying to grab him up, pull him up, and it was just not working. He he completely saw red until the ref didn't actually show him red. Nice. No, he gave him a yellow card, and then he booked Jake Cooper a little while after that for like bumping into him. Uh, we should have had a penalty even before that decision. There was a blatant handball. The, the, the Norwich players kind of like George Savile, <laughs> very similar to George Savile's penalty against Huddersfield where he's put his, put his arm out. The Norwich players led into it. He's not given the penalty there. Um, in the first half, we should have had a, you know, I, I think I think it was Zian or Eva Savile had, had, had gone through. They had space in front of them, a, a, a pullback. Normally always a booking, wasn't given a booking. And then he sends... Um, George Savile off for, for a bookable, you know, it's a hundred percent a, a booking. Um, he's Nothing had to more. do it. You know, the players are on halfway. We've got three or four defenders the other side of him, but he's running at them. Um, Savile just, you know, kind of chops him down a little bit. From the, it wasn't from behind. He's kind of coming from the side a bit, and he sent him. A, it's a straight. He's given him a straight red. Uh, it's a discra- It's an absolute disgraceful decision. Like I said, we've. Uh, and then he's you know, potentially should, Norwich should have had a, a corner at the end. He's he's absolutely lost it. The ref the ref lost. He the lost dr- control. Yeah, yeah. he lost, lost control. Of the he game. lost control of the game. And, and and credit to our lads because they they fed off of that. The atmosphere got better and better as the as the game went on, and it felt like the old den. It felt not yeah. the old den, but it felt yeah. like the the like the den we the used at, to know. Yeah, the the atmospheres that we could have because um, yeah we get so many foreigners and tourists coming into the. Um, to, to, to the games now it's all part of uh, modern day football but when the atmosphere is like that it's just such it's, a it's a fortress to play in yeah it's such it's such a it's such a difficult play to play for the opposition and and, and we like I said we saw it out from there and, and mm. didn't really look like conceding I didn't feel like we were going to concede just, just hoping that considering our form this year and how many late goals we've conceded? Yeah, we felt it, it was a little inkling that we would concede. No, yeah, you, and, and and you just think is, yeah. the, is the goal going to come? And it didn't, and we we saw well, it out. And to be fair, in the first half, they cannoned a shot at the um, at Sarkic's far post, weren't it? Um, from a free kick. Nothing oh ball. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was very dangerous yeah, because but it went wide. that can easily go in. Yeah, but he went, and then they he, they had a free kick right at the end, Norwich that, like I said, was deflected wide. Overall, it's a it's a fantastic three points. It's back to back home wins. You know, it really starts. I, I felt like you know, obviously Joe Edwards was getting a lot of pressure, but you could see we played better. The, the the players understood their assignment off the ball today, and we looked much better on the ball than we did ever did under Rowett. You know, the passing was crisper, the intent was there. We tried to go forward more often. He's starting to get to the players. Yeah, and, and like he's I said, with get, the pa- he's drilling with that the, Rowett football with out. the pace of Idamo. Um, 
it, it just it just frightens teams, and that's what we've 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 lacked for for the majority of the season. So we've got Bristol City obviously on um, New Year's Day, uh, and and then obviously we've got the cup match against Leicester at home, which is going to be a, 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 you know probably the worst draw we could have got in the FA Cup, but. Um, we'll celebrate this one this evening because that's a, that's a really important three points for us. Uh, I'm, buzz, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. I was, you know, with the wife, and it's 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 such a lovely feeling to to watch that kind of game and that kind of performance. Who who was your man of the match? I, I think I could give it to every single one of the players today, except for maybe Sarkic because he didn't have much to do. Honeyman was excellent in the midfield. Yeah. I think he got the actual um, yeah, official did. man of the match. I he was so th- calm and composed today. He was. I thought Norton Cuffey was was superb. He's been the. I think he's been the best loan spell. Maybe Charlie Cresswell was pushing him, but Cresswell or Chris Wood. I mean, we've yeah. had we've had plenty over the years, yeah, and uh, he's joining he's joining the yeah. the band of them. And he's done Brilliant like I said, he's done really really well today. But every single M- Murray Wallace, Sean Hutchinson had an excellent game. Um, just every single player that put put the Mill shirt on today gave one hundred percent and. And had and, and had spells and moments in the game where they showed some real quality on the ball, and that's something to look forward to. Like I said, I really enjoyed that, um, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Mill Drive home. We're just about to go through the Lime House Link. Is there anything else you want to add? Two wins on the, on the trot at the Den. Two clean sheets. Two clean sheets. Um, two big wins. Two big wins. There's only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care. Yes. Come Let's on, come Millwall. On.